I'm Valentina and I'm an international relations student studying at the University of Surrey. And this year I'm going to take part in a model NATO. A model NATO is essentially a simulation of the different committees in NATO. Um, I'm personally going to represent the United Kingdom in the North Atlantic Council and we're going to be discussing between the different representatives of the member states in NATO um, about how to re respond to a natural catastrophe happening in the Mediterranean Sea. It's going to be an earthquake and potentially a tsunami and we're going to have to discuss how to respond to this crisis. Um, my knowledge of NATO was more historical rather than current, I've got to say. I learned about NATO in school, I, I learned about NATO and its uh, role during the Cold War, but I was not so aware of NATO's role in the 21st century. With this, um, with this model NATO and with the preparation I have, I've had to do um, for the simulation, I've learned about, for example, NATO's response to the earthquake in 2005 and 2006 in Pakistan and its role over there. I've also had to learn about um, NATO's role, for example, against piracy in the east coast, coast of Somalia. So I've learned that NATO is not only an international security alliance and a military alliance, it's also an alliance that has a bigger task in the 21st century. And I wanted to take part in this because I believe it's a really good experience to develop my skills, such as um, skills, for example, in leadership, networking, public speaking skills as well. And I also wanted to take part because I believe that NATO is having an increasingly important role in international security and international relations as a whole, especially, for example, in the war that we're seeing right now between Russia and the Ukraine. We're seeing international media being very, very persistent um, on focusing on NATO's reply to, to such a crisis. Um, and in preparation for this, for this model NATO, I have um, researched the UK's alliances, the UK's past operations, and interestingly, interestingly as well, the UK's relationships with the EU through NATO. 